Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez noted that one of the challenges faced by the National Water Company is institutional weakness at the managerial level and technical capacity. While there are a number of highly trained and competent engineers in the authority, there are also several persons designated as engineers who are not trained engineers and who lack the capacity to undertake highly technical work and come up with solutions to the myriad of problems on the network, which obviously negatively impact the supply of water to the population. He said the need has been identified for highly skilled professionals and leaders with appropriate skill sets to be a part of the solution and future of the authority. One of these is the induction of 50 young engineers to be a part of WASA's engineering leadership development program. This two-year program, the first of its kind for the authority, initially attracted 425 applicants. And the timing of this internship program is therefore very opportune as it comes at a time when we are confronting these challenges through the much needed transformation of the authority as it seeks to provide the population with an adequate and a safe and reliable supply of water. Described as the best of the best in Trinidad and Tobago, this first group of inductees will work in various aspects of WASA's operations, with the intention to assimilate them into the company at the end of the program. We intend to immerse them fully in the operations of the authority, and I personally look forward to witnessing their contributions as they grow from strength to strength. So you are about to embark upon a very exciting professional journey. Training for the Trinidad-based inductees began on Wednesday, and for Tobago-based inductees will begin on March 1st. Ayanna Carter, TTT News.